Ah, we adore, love, love animals. Especially the charming ones. There are some very cute ones out there that are difficult to say no to. However, there are occasions when resistance is required. The fact that an animal looks at you with large, innocent eyes and has fur that appears to be as fluffy as freshly fallen snow does not suggest that you should approach it or touch it. There are moments when adorable can be lethal. In this video we will talk about the 10 cute animals that are actually deadly. Before you do anything stupid, such as trying to pet an animal that may rip your hand off with one rapid bite, you should thus be warned, beware, and be aware of what you are getting into. The following is a list that we have compiled of the top 10 cutest animals that are capable of killing you. Let's not allow them to succeed. Number 10. Dolphins. We all have this image in our heads that swimming with dolphins is some sort of enchanted activity that everyone ought to try at least once in their lives. However, you should only interact with dolphins that have been educated by experts. Dolphins in the wild occasionally kill without a discernible and direct reason. You can be playing with them one minute, and then you might be preparing their dinner the next. It is best to observe these marine creatures from a safe distance. Number 9. Slow Loris. These Ewoks are around the size of a teddy bear and have the appearance of a small version of the species. That level of adorableness simply cannot be topped. But if you do spot one, you should keep a safe distance away from it. Even if they appear as if they would enjoy being picked up and held, there is a good probability that the contrary is the case. If they feel threatened, they will bite, and the poison in their bites is lethal and works very quickly. Number 8. Tasmanian Devil the Tasmanian Tassie Devil is considered to be one of the most notable members of Australia's collection of animals that are found nowhere else on the planet. That's right, the bite of a Tasmanian Devil is more powerful than the bite of any other creature in the world, according to its size. Their massive heads enable them to open their jaws to an angle of up to 80 degrees, which gives them the ability to crush bone with the force of their jaws alone. They are capable of biting through even the toughest metals and can even break the cages that other animals and cattle are kept in. Devils can consume wildlife or roadkill with no leftovers because of their very strong jaws. They consume every part of their meal and leave nothing behind. Number 7. Poison Dart Frog The phrase poison dart frog refers to a diverse group of brightly colored frogs that are native to Central and South America. Granular glands cover this species' skin, and they are responsible for the secretion of toxic compounds, also known as poison. This indicates that frogs do not possess a central gland that produces poison. Let's cut to the chase and talk about the most lethal poison that our philobates poison dart frogs produce, which is called batrachotoxin. When one of these frogs is eaten by a carnivore, the batrachotoxin that is hidden inside of it goes to work, assaulting the nerve system and causing the carnivore to convulse have muscle contractions, salivate, and even die. Because there is now no effective therapy or antidote for the poisoning, it is in everyone's best interest to promptly spit out the frog, whether they are humans or other predators. Number 6. Anteater. They suffer from impaired vision and hearing, and they have no teeth. Despite this, anteaters can be extremely dangerous. In a newly published case report, researchers describe a grisly attack by an anteater that resulted in the death of a hunter in the northwest region of Brazil. The incident occurred only two years after a similar encounter with one of the long-nosed critters resulted in the death of another man. The authors of the study published their findings this month in the journal Wilderness and Environmental Medicine. They stated that the attack should serve as a warning to humans who are encroaching on the territory of anteaters. Even though such incidents are uncommon and anteaters typically avoid contact with humans. Number 5. Pufferfish or Pufferfish. You should never come into contact with a pufferfish unless you are an absolute specialist on the subject of pufferfish and are aware of the specific levels of toxicity that each species possesses. The pufferfish's skin is coated in sharp spines and spikes making it an extremely hazardous animal to handle. Carry a poison known as tetrodotoxin TTX, which is lethal to other species of fish as well as to people. It is best to keep your distance from a pufferfish, especially if it appears to have puffed out. It's possible that your hands will be injured, and you might even pass out. Number 4. Elephant. Elephants are the largest land animals that are still alive today. 
Even though it has been entirely replaced by automation, it continues to serve as a symbol of power and spectacle. The number of people killed by elephants each year ranges anywhere from roughly 100 to more than 500. In South Asia, it is not uncommon for elephants to pillage agricultural grounds or human settlements, occasionally mauling or stepping on humans who get in their way. The combination of their size and weight is sufficient to ensure that even a single blow from them is fatal. Number 3. Panda. It's easy to forget that these guys are bears since they're so adorable. Bamboo indeed makes up the majority of their diet, but it's not all they eat. They respond defensively to threats in the same manner as other bears. They will bite you if they perceive you to be a threat to them. They will continue to bite you until they no longer perceive you to be a threat. Even if doing so results in your death during the process. Number 2. The Leopard Seal. During the winter months, it is not uncommon to spot seals on the Delmarva Peninsula, both in the coastal bays and in the ocean itself. Seals are classified as semi-aquatic creatures, which implies that they spend a significant amount of time on land each day. Seals have several needs that require them to haul out, including the need to rest, pup, and molt, shed. Leopard seals live alone and can be hostile to one another, especially when competing for resources such as food. However, there have been isolated reports of leopard seals that appear to cooperate to break down their prey. Social predators, such as killer whales and wolves, are more likely to engage in cooperative feeding than solitary predators. It has been reported that groups of leopard seals will occasionally engage in kleptoparasitism, which is the practice of stealing food that has been caught by another animal. In this case, the leopard seals will tear king penguins between themselves. When leopard seals and people come face to face, our relationships do not always go as smoothly as we would want. On both sides, there have been those who have lost their lives. Similar to other species of seals, leopard seals will pursue and attempt to bite anyone who enters their territory. When they haul out near human settlements, the authorities typically urge curious individuals to keep their distance and avoid getting too close to the animals. Number 1. The Swan. They are stunning, sophisticated, and romantic in appearance. If you see one swimming in a lake, there's a strong chance you'll want to feed it, and if you get close enough, you might even want to pet it. Don't! They view people as a potentially dangerous adversary, similar to the majority of wild animals. If you give them food, they will get closer to you, and once they are close enough, they will most likely bite you especially if they believe the meal you are holding rightfully belongs to them. Just hold your ground. So at this point, we are ending today's video. Must like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates.